of creating just cause. The secrets to being prepared for the wild. Wild. Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause and in this video we put the 3 inch lift, the new rims and tires on the GX. First, I want to show you the before. It used to look like this. Very luxurious, very, uh, you know, go to the mall if anyone goes to the mall nowadays. And now it looks like this. Very still luxurious. I can still go to the mall if I really want to go to the mall. But now if something happens, I can go around some shit. I can go through some stuff. Very nice. So let's talk about what we put on. We'll start with the rims and tires. These are black rhinos. They're the ravine model and uh, they're 17 by eight and a half. The tires are 285 7017s Falcon Wild Peaks. The all terrain tires, these are the same tires that I have on the OG Jeep Commander. Mine are 285 65 18s, so they're a bit wider because I have an 18 by 9 uh, rim. So they're about a half an inch wider. If you notice with the GX, it sticks out about a half an inch away from the wheel well, or inside the wheel well. And uh, yeah, it gives it a really good aggressive look and stance, but still, still sexy, you know? And the rims, so I was doing research and uh, most everyone on the GXs is, are putting either zero offset or negative 10 offset. With these, I decided to go a little bit more aggressive and went with a negative 12 offset. So it gives it this look right here. I'm digging it. She's definitely digging it. And uh, yeah, it's a good look. The ride quality is still amazing. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit jealous. Just a little bit, just a little bit. So that's her. Now, let's talk about the suspension. So I got the lift off Toy Tech. I actually called um, and I spoke with a, a rep there. His name, uh, his name is Kyle and he helped me out. Anyway, so he kind of talked me through like what I was looking for, my trying to build it to be a rock crawler, uh, off-road. So I told him we're doing trails, we're taking it over landing. Yeah, it'll be some trails, but nothing too crazy. And uh, he pushed me in this direction. I did a little bit of research and then called him back and boom, we went with this. This is the Toy Tech um, Boss 2.5 aluminum suspension kit. So for the rear, I've got the Toy Tech 2.5 aluminum series rear shocks along with the Superflex heavy duty rear coils. You can see that sitting there. The whole system looks pretty damn sexy. The Boss suspension uh, comes in red, which is fine because it's all tucked under. We also did the uh, Metal Tech uh, conversion kit, which means that the rear suspension, air suspension, uh, was deleted from it and replaced with this Metal Tech. And that's what you're seeing right inside that coil. So the airbags were taken out and that conversion kit was installed. And then for the front, I've got the 2.5 uh, aluminum series IFP coilovers and the SPC upper control arms. These are pretty heavy duty. So this is a pretty beefy system. And yeah, so that's what this bad boy looks like. The wheels are nice, still a nice ride. There's not much protection under here. So that's going to be next. Next month, we're gonna order the front bumper, get some skid plates to cover all this area back here. Tell me what you think. Pretty nice setup so far. It's coming along. Next we'll be working 
on getting the front bumper skid plates and rock sliders and then maybe a month or two after the rear bumpers and then she'll be pretty much set so the goal with this is to be able to pull the trailer and when we go camping overlanding we're going to use the gx it does have a uh the v8 but this is going to be also the primary so i want to take the commander out as well so i don't know i don't know how we're going to figure it out rock paper scissors shoot i mean maybe that's how we'll decide on uh what pulls the trailer when we go when we go out exploring so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you have any questions please feel free to ask and i'll see you guys on the next video take care there